Hey, Nick, congratulations uh, on making the debut and getting your first win. Um, just how was it? Was it was it weird making your debut without fans? Just take me through that. And what was it like? Uh, yeah, it was definitely weird, you know, without the fans and whatnot. Um, honestly, I think it might have been, you know, good to kind of ease in this way. Although I would love to have, you know, the fans, especially with the rivalry between us and the, and the Red Sox, definitely. But it was it was really awesome being out there and especially wearing pinstripes and whatnot, making my debut at Yankee Stadium. Um, you know, with all the history behind the pinstripes and everything, so it's just it's it's awesome. Any family watching? Did your phone blow up? Any text messages? Oh my gosh, it, it, it's unreal. Like I, I might honestly, you know, FaceTime my girlfriend and call my family and then just turn it off. It's it's been unreal. It's been blowing off the hook. Thanks, Nick. We'll take the next one from Ron Blum. Hey, Nick, congratulations. Who would if you had here at the game tonight had there been a normal situation with family and friends, you think? Um, I would have had uh, my girlfriend, my daughter, my grandparents, and uh, a couple of my buddies from, from back home in Panama City. Uh, your girlfriend, what's her name? Uh, Abby. A-B-B-Y? A-B-I. One B? Yeah, just one A-B-I? B. And yeah, your A -B -I. daughter's name, and how old? Uh, sh her name is Henley. Um, and she will be 11 months, uh, in four days. 11 months in four days. Mm -hmm. And you said your gr grandmother or grandfather? I'm sorry. Uh, both of them, my grandparents. And their names? Uh, my grandmother is Marie, M-A-R-I-E. Yep. And then my grandfather is Ronnie, R-O-N-N-I-E. So you think it's easier pitching without them here? It, you would have been more nervous? Um... I have I have no idea honestly you know I mean growing up and whatnot they never missed a game so until I really got into pro ball and being on the road so much you know um, they yeah they never missed a game growing up they're always there no matter what circumstances thank you we'll take the next one from Brian Hoke hey Nick congratulations uh, you pitched at three levels of the Yankee system last year what do you think allowed you to jump so quickly oh um I just think, uh, oh, um, I think a lot of the pitching coaches, you know, and I, I had a couple last year, and they all, they all helped me out tremendously, you know, um, especially with, you know, my off-speed pitches, uh, working in different counts and whatnot, and I think, uh, yeah, they, you know, Rosie and and uh, and High A Tampa, Norty and um, and Double A. And then Tommy Phelps and uh, and AAA, all those, those guys helped me out so much. Great, thank you. We'll take the next one from Pete Caldera. Hey Nick, hey, uh, you know they, they made you wait around a bit to, to to get into your major league debut. I was just wondering, you know, for you know a week and a half or so, uh, was that almost more nerve wracking than getting into the actual game? Just the sitting around. Yeah, definitely the anticipation, um, especially because it's, you know, as soon as the phone rings, I start, you know, getting a little, I get more nervous and whatnot. Um, so, yeah, definitely waiting, was, it, it was killing me for sure. <laughs> Thank you. We'll go to Max Goodman. Hey, Nick, congratulations, man. Uh, we asked the same question to, to Brooks the other day. Did you get any souvenir? What was what was it like back in the clubhouse with your teammates? Did anybody give you anything? Uh, yeah. Um, well, you know, I'll, I'll get my my first strikeout ball and whatnot. Um, and then, not necessarily a souvenir, but uh, I got the belt after after the W. So that was that was a pretty cool thing for sure.